Good morning and welcome to Bread for Today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Recently we've been studying the book of Ruth, one of the probably most loved books in the Bible. I'm sure we're all very familiar with the story of um, Naomi. Sadly was not only widowed, but she then lost both her sons, left with two daughter-in-laws, Ruth and Orpah. Being quite unselfish, she told the girls that they needed to go back to their king's people. And as you probably all know, Orpah did as she was told and she went home. However, Ruth said no, she would stay with Naomi. And there are the famous words in chapter 1, verse 16, where she says, Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Obviously, quite rightly, everyone says how wonderful Ruth was that she decided to stay. However, I got thinking about this, and actually I think the person who is the real heroine in all this is Naomi. Put yourself in her shoes. She's lost her husband, and she's lost her beloved sons. But she didn't try to cling on to Ruth and Orpah. She told them to go back to their kinsfolk. However, as we know, Ruth very dutifully stayed, which is wonderful, I know that, but just think of Naomi too. And then that got me thinking about during lockdown, there have been so many cases where people have been labelled as the unsung hero, and undoubtedly there have been plenty. The person who's taken a meal round to someone, done their shopping, whatever. However, unsung heroes didn't start with Covid. There have been many, many unsung heroes over many years. That neighbour who every day has taken a meal in to someone. The child who, instead of pursuing their successful career, has stayed behind to look after an elderly parent. All these sorts of people, they are too unsung heroes. So my thought for today is, let us be an unsung hero too for God. In whatever we do, let us be able to say that we will go wherever God wants us to go and with whoever he wants us to be with him. So just to end, I'd like to... <coughs> sorry, Dave Tooby, I'm pinching a prayer that you gave us. For each step that I might take, be my guide, O Lord of my life. For each load that I might bear, be my strength, O Lord of life. For each mountain I may face, be my power, O Lord of life. For each river that might impede, be my safety, O Lord of my life. For each place where I might rest, be my peace, O Lord of life. For each sunrise and sunset, be my joy, O Lord of my life. Amen. Thank you for listening, and God bless. Amen. <laughs>